Hey guys, what's going on? It's Shard here. Welcome back to a new video on this channel. And today, uh, I am going to be reviewing the Dodge Viper Hennessy trim. Uh, so, you guys may think that I'm back on PC again, uh, but I'm not. I'm actually using an Xbox, as you guys can see by this right here. So, I don't know why, but whenever I record on Xbox, it just cuts out my game audio. Uh, so, you guys actually can't hear the game audio right now, even though it says that it's recording the audio. Uh, it's not. So, um, unfortunately, you guys aren't going to be able to hear any sound throughout this video. Um, but, yeah. So, um, anyways, let's hop into the car right here. Um, so as you can see, the car actually looks pretty nice. Uh, especially for a Dodge. Anyways, um, yeah, the car looks pretty nice. Uh, as you guys can see right here. And it's actually pretty unique because it has, uh, exhaust coming out of the side of the car. Instead of, uh, them coming out of the back of the car like most cars. Which is pretty cool in my opinion. Um, so yeah, now a rev test won't be needed for this video, of course, because you can't hear any game sound because of, because whenever I record, it just cuts it out for some reason. Um, but yeah, we'll still do a, uh, lift blinker test, so as you can see, uh, looks pretty nice, actually. And we have right blinkers. Again, pretty nice. And then we have, uh, the hazards. So, yeah, pretty basic. And then we also have the, uh, the headlights. Let me just turn off my blinker right there so yeah pretty uh pretty decent actually uh and also we won't have to do a horn test because you guys can't hear that either uh but i did test the horn with my game sound and it sounded the exact same as basically every other car in the game uh same as the startup and the overall just engine noise it sounds pretty basic like most other cars in greenville so hopefully it's going to be too much of a biggie for today's video but um yeah so Anyways, let's just uh, get out of this area real quick. And actually, I'm going to change my gauges real quick to be uh, advanced like they usually are. But uh, as you can see, the launch off isn't that fast, actually. Uh, it kind of reminds me of the Koenig Ziggs launch. Um, it, I mean, it's not like too bad, but it's not too good either. Um, it could be better, but hey, that's just how it is, I guess. So, yeah, um, so I'm actually going to do a 0 to 60 test, uh, which is new for my car reviews. I've never really done a 0 to 60 test for some reason, so I guess we're going to do one right now. So, uh, yeah, so as you can see, when I, uh, so as you guys are about to see, when I do do the launch off, um, it's going to, like, it's going to be a lot more faster than if, than if I'm just, like, normally driving it, I guess. Um, so, yeah, so... So that was about like 4.5 seconds, I'd say. So not too shabby at all, honestly. Um, it was pretty decent. Um, but for the price of this car, which is $250,000, or at least for this trim, um, it could be a lot better. Uh, but I guess that's just how it is. So yeah, and now we're going to do a top speed test. So just get into neutral right here and then go whoop. So uh, it starts off pretty good. We're going to go in sports mode actually right here. And, uh, yeah, so it's going pretty quick. The launch off might have been, uh, a bit quicker if I was in sports mode, actually, so that's my bad. So, as you can see, it does climb up pretty quick. And it basically maxes out at 217 miles per hour. It can go faster than that, but it's mainly if you go downhill and stuff. But the main speed, the top speed originally, I'm pretty sure, was intended to be up 217 miles per hour. Um, so, yeah, that's basically that. Um, so, yes, and I'm going to head back to the dealership and actually review the prices of, like, the different trims and stuff for this car. And give my overall opinion on what I think. i just go to sports cars right here. Uh, it actually will be right down here. So, in the game, it's called the 2008 Bullhorn Python. Um, so, yeah, so... The default trim is called the SFP10, so it's basically the same uh, as the uh, Hennessy that I was just driving, but except it doesn't have a wing at the back, um, and it's also quite a lot slower as well. Now, I'm pretty sure this is one of Vuxury's main cars, so I mean, if you want to be like a Vuxury uh, stan or something like that, then go ahead and buy this car. Um, but, yeah, uh, so it's actually pretty cheap at the price of $60,000, so that's really cheap for a sports car in this game. And if you're not in the big wang gang like your boy, uh, then um, I'd actually recommend getting this one. Uh, so yeah, and then the next one is the Heen Poison TT, which is the Hennessy, um, which is also the one that I got. And I'm pretty sure it has a different hood as well. Yeah, it does. Um, so it does look quite nice. And oops, 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 oops. We went to the other one by accident. 
Uh, so yeah, this one also looks really nice, as you guys saw in the review there. Um, it doesn't look too overcomplicated. The wing might be a bit on the big side for me. Um, but it's not really a big deal, I guess. Uh, and it does look pretty nice overall. Also, uh, at the price of $250,000, which is a little bit hefty for what you get. Um, but if you're a Dodge fan, it's probably worth getting, so yeah. And then we have the ACP trim right here. Uh, now, I forgot what this trim was called in real life, unfortunately, but it also looks pretty nice. And it's only $100,000, which is really cheap uh, for how it looks. And I'm sure a lot of people will think that you're rich, like super rich if you got this car. Um, but it is a little bit slower than the Hennessy because I actually tried it out when I first got the car. And it wasn't that fast, but it was still pretty good. Um, so, yeah, honestly, not bad prices at all. So, yeah. Overall, what I recommend you getting this car. Honestly, if you're a Dodge fan, go ahead and get it. It's pretty good, honestly. Um, but if you're not really a Dodge fan and, like, you just, you're not willing to, like, spin like you're you're wanting to spend your money on like something a lot more quick then honestly no i wouldn't recommend going for this car not that it's bad or anything but it's just like it could be better like the way how it drives is just a bit slow in my opinion and it, it just could be a bit better like the mclaren is honestly like faster than this as well um but yeah it's not a bad car at all definitely but yeah guys with all those things in mind i'm probably gonna rate this car around a 7 out of 10 which is actually a pretty decent rating for this car um because i'm not like a massive dodge fan but it's still a pretty sick car to drive in honestly um so yeah anyways guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you like and subscribe um it, the support has been insane honestly and it, i just can't believe it dude it's mind-blowing um but yeah thank you guys so much for all the support and stuff like that that you guys give me uh, and yeah, see you later and goodbye.